Hello, welcome. So in this film, I'd like to show you how to do a little bit more in regard to modifications and alignment and uh, using dimensions to get our, our our model the way the way we like it, our model and design. So let me show you some chip, tips and tricks because these are these are actually kind of fun. They're very productive tools when it comes to uh, the point in your uh, design where you're beginning to incorporate items like um, you know furniture and stuff like that. And you have a lot of pieces of furniture put into a room. This is kind of a time saver. You know, allow you to uh, put things together relatively quickly. So let's do this. Let me show you. Um, oops, excuse me. Let me show you a couple of productivity tools here. Let's say we have four file cabinets here, and I uh, deleted the the ones that we have, and we're going to go ahead and put some more in here. Remember to use arrow keys. It allows you to move things around relatively quickly. And if you use the control key, or if we use the copy command up here in our modify uh, uh, portion of our ribbon, it gives us the ability to select on moldable, and we did this with Trifer Lights. We're going to take a common endpoint of, uh, of our file cabinet here and use that same common endpoint in order to do a number of different ones. So we're going to do five out here, so it fills up that wall pretty good, and that works out really well. It gets them in there, uh, and if you like, as we're doing that, we can go ahead and lock these. Let's take our desks out here. We have two desks uh, for the reception area. And if we take one of the desks and actually move it close to the other desk, you know, so you get your, um, they, they have a tendency to uh, align themselves up uh, with each other. And that's in regard to the object snaps uh, coming together. You can also see a little bit of the old polar track in it we saw in AutoCAD, too. So if we put those together, we should get to suggested constraints. This constraint over here is going to make the front edge of the desk uh, coplanar with each other, and then the edges of the desk are also going to be coplanar to each other. So when we move one desk, once we put those uh, constraints in there, the other desk moves with it too. So that's that's kind of cool. So I'm going to get that a little bit closer to the wall. Use my arrow keys a couple times, even though it's moving off in the x and y direction on that angled wall. We don't necessarily need that desk uh, to be right next to the wall. Another way to copy something is with the control key. It's kind of like a move command. If you press the control key down while you're trying to move something, it copies it and moves it. Again, we're going to pick up those constraints, lock them together, call that done. Take this chair, go to the copy command, copy that chair over a couple different times. Let's take this chair, we're going to move that out in front of the desk. Maybe take these chairs, maybe take this chair, a little bit fancier chair for the reception area. Move that over, out over here, and then uh, maybe a third one. No, I think we'll go ahead and delete that. Just a little bit too crowded, but in order to put a little bit of randomness, randomness in here, we're going to take that chair and kind of move it towards the center too. So, kind of looking at each other. I'm going to save this for the next film in regard to getting this desk uh, lined up with with the wall. We're not going to do that in this film. But uh, what I like to do is cut out a hole in that wall, the profile of that wall, in order to line that up. We'll save that for later. Uh, doors. You know, so doors are kind of dorky and they're not really uh, in the room in a very good way. I don't necessarily want to put permanent dimensions in here. We could probably call that out in a schedule if we needed to in regard to the door alignment. Like we could say the door would be, like maybe the center of the door would be two feet from uh, the exterior face of the interior wall. You know, something like that. It would be like a node in regard to that schedule. But in order to do that, if we click on that door, it gives us a temporary dimension. If we want to make all those two feet, that's easy enough to do. That one's already at two feet. This one may or may not be at two feet. That, that is. Looks like I already did my work in this one. But if you want to make that maybe three feet for maybe the bathroom doors, we can do that too. All you have to do is click on that. You don't necessarily have to constrain it any, any more than that. But that is a way to get your doors looking exactly the same uh, within uh, your whole project, if you like. Entourage. Let's put some entourage in. I mean, what is entourage? We're going to drop Cynthia in, and we're going to put Cynthia in the sales office over here. The way you do that is you go to the Home tab, go to Component. And if you don't have entourage already loaded, I don't know if I do or not. I don't think I do. Let's go ahead and load Family. And uh, you're going to move down here to a folder called Entourage. Let's get a female figure. And that gives us a number of different choices, R, P, C, female, Cynthia. And, uh, yeah, just drop it into place. So it's on the ground floor. And typically, when you put an entourage, it has a symbol that looks like that. The point of the symbol is typically where the person is facing. So if you click on that and go to the Modify Toolbar, we want her facing, Cynthia, facing her desk so she can work. 
Cynthia likes to work. And we're going to put her in a chair. And let's take a look at that. I don't know if I have a camera view of that or not. Let's see if we do. Oh, we do. So there's Cynthia in the chair. Right now it's just a stick figure in a way, kind of like a, a cardboard cutout. And she'd probably be a little bit closer in the chair, but that actually works out pretty well. In order to get her fully constrained and aligned, you probably want to get a suction tool out and make sure that she's actually on that chair. But if you did a photo real image of that, uh, she, it would actually look like a real person. We'll save that for an, uh, another film. But the photo real rendering of that uh, actually comes out pretty well. And you might want to pepper your projects with Entourage, so it gives that a little bit more of a personal element to your projects when you get them all together. So... I think that's probably enough for this film. In the next film, I'll show you what Cynthia looks like in a photo real rendering, and we'll start putting in some furniture tags.